Hello, Locked in Lucy's. I am back. And I went from gray and gloomy to black, but not quite black and beautiful yet. The beautiful part will come from my maintenance routine. Now I'm going to show you what I've done so far. And I'm taking off a t-shirt from my hair. And I use a t-shirt because of its tightly woven fabric. The tightly woven, woven fabric um, helps to keep the locks from collecting lint and from becoming frizzy. So I'll give you a 360 of what's happening so far. Here's the black. Here we go. This is the back. Going to the side and back to the front. And when you look, you can see all of those gray hairs that I had in the middle are colored. Now, let's see, after coloring my hair, I like to follow up with my two step process, beginning with a good soaking from my locked in loose thirst quencher moisture rich hydration mist. And this is what I usually use. And I definitely like to do that. It's a crucial part of my routine for its antifungal, antibacterial, and antiseptic properties. Now for the soaking, I'm going to use my industrial sprayer. And I'm just going to spray throughout my hair. And I like to shake it up. You want to make sure you shake it up really good to get all those ingredients mixing well together. And I only do a soaking after dyeing or washing my hair. The rest of the time I just mist it and I usually mist daily or at least a few times a week. And I want to get all throughout my locks. And another part that's very important is when I'm spraying my locks, I like to make sure that I get through all of my locks and that I'm squeezing the moisture into the locks. So I want to make sure I do that. And I'm just going to go in the back and do the back of my locks as well. Here you go. So I take my locks after I'm done spraying. I go throughout my hair and I do this fisting motion where I am just fisting the moisture into my locks. And I do this um, fisting motion as opposed to a, a rigorous rubbing because I don't want to uh, my locks to become frizzy. So I'm always doing that. So I'm just fisting it in, just fisting it in. And then at the same time, I'm massaging my scalp as well. This is very important. My recipe has lots of benefits for maintaining a healthy scalp and for stimulating hair growth. So I just kind of massage it into my scalp like so. And squeeze. Okay. But my the recipe, like I said, is for the antibacterial, antifungal, and antiseptic properties. And a lot, when my, as my hair is drying, it won't um, give off that mildewy smell that some locks can have, you know, because of their drying, not drying all the way. All right. So, here you have it. Now, after spraying and squeezing in the moisture, I move on to step two in my two-step process. And that's when I apply the oil. Now this is my locked and loose slick and seal moisture lock oil. And this is the, the second step to my two step process. And I always do these two steps together, always. And I'm just going to do my oil here that I already have prepared. And I just put it into, pour it into the palm of my hand, rub my hands together, and kind of pat it throughout my locks. Pat it throughout. I start with the top layer locks 
and I pat it throughout and squeeze, pat and squeeze. I'm careful never to rigorously rub and scrub. That is how I maintain, one of the ways I maintain neat locks is by avoiding the rubbing and scrubbing. So I'm just going to add more oil, rub it in, and then get throughout these locks here and just plat, or pat it in, squeeze it in as I did for the spray. Just fist it on in there. All throughout my locks. And depending on how long your locks are or how thick they are, that will determine how much oil you need to apply. <clears throat> I'm finding now that my locks are getting longer. I'm needing to apply a little bit more oil than what I did before. You don't want to over oil because then you're going to have excess oil that's going to come off on your fabrics, clothing, bedding, things like that. So try not to over oil. All right. Okay, so after applying the oil, I then move on to my interlocking method, and that's if I have new growth to interlock. Otherwise, I just move on to my smoothing method. And I will do that for you now. <clears throat> 